The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 619. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is a dating and relationship expert, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Sammy Wonder. Sammy, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, Sheena. So excited to be here. Thank you for having me on your podcast. And a little bit about myself. Well, I am gifted at helping high achieving professional women attract their dream man and create a deeply intimate and connected relationship with him. So In the last two years alone, 113 of my clients have found soulmate love using the system of love attraction that I have developed. And this work that I teach women today actually is deeply connected with my own personal journey of uh, self-confidence and finding myself and finding my voice and finding my inner worth, which is what I help my clients do and achieve as well. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Sammy, what's your cultural background? I am originally from India and I am married to a German and I am a German citizen now, but still very much an Indian at heart. Thanks for sharing that. What'd be your favorite self-confidence quote? This is one from Lao Tse where he says that because one believes in oneself, One doesn't try to convince others because one is content with oneself. One doesn't need others' approval because one accepts oneself. The whole world accepts him or her. Thanks for sharing that great quote. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? I think it's about the journey of learning to love and accept yourself for who you are and letting the world see that without the fear of judgment. So I do want to add that I I deeply believe that there is no perfect destination of self-confidence that one can ever reach. It is an ongoing journey, an ongoing process of loving and accepting yourself and being brave enough to show up with your authentic energy in the world, knowing that when you are totally yourself, you will annoy some people, you will be judged, you will probably be abandoned, criticized, gossiped about, But you don't let all those fears stop you from being yourself and showing up as your authentic self in the world. That's, for me, self-confidence. Thanks for sharing that great definition. And what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I think it's very easy to say that for a woman like me, I've always been a lot in my masculine energy. I've always been a go-getter. I've, I've always worked hard and had the success I desired to have in my life. And so before finding my self-confidence or my inner voice, so to speak, I had a lot of what I would call is masculine confidence on the outside. So you would see me making great presentations in public and you would see me making being a really good public speaker. But I think that was really a facade and it was it was not real confidence. It was it was a put on. It was an overcompensation for how weak I used to feel inside. So inside I used to feel insecure or inside. I really had no sense of self. I had no, I was very afraid of what others are thinking. I was constantly aligning all my actions based on how others would receive it. So inside, deep inside, I think I was very insecure and I had a really hard time being myself amongst others. And what that looked like was just a constant feeling of dissatisfaction on the inside, a constant feeling of I'm not good enough, nobody wants me, nobody cares about me. And of course, that also showed up in my love life. I am a love and relationship expert. So it also showed up in my love life, you know, where I met really good men. And then I would just not be able to 
say my boundaries. I would say yes to everything. I would go along and constantly do what they wanted me to do. And of course, it never worked out. But I think before I found my voice and before I found my worth and my self-confidence, I was this woman that was very strong on the outside, but on the inside, really, really weak. Thanks for sharing that. And I think, you know, that's something we all go through, right? We try to put up a front in front of everybody, not realizing like we're dying on the inside. And, you know, then we attract the wrong things into our life. And, you know, we realize that self-confidence starts from within. It's an inside job, right? Working on, you know, your mentality and what you think and how you see yourself. And, you know, what was um, that aha moment when you realized you were more than enough to go out there and be the person you are today? I think there was a point in my life when it felt like everything is falling apart. So I was having a lot of success in the outside world. So I was having a lot of external achievement and I was still hurting so bad on the inside because I just could never find that place of peace within myself. And then, of course, my private life also was not looking how I wanted to look. So I knew I wanted to get married. I knew I desired a good man in my life, wanted to have a stable family. And none of that was working out. And I remember this man that I was dating for almost two months, where I thought I had finally found my one Then after two months of intense dating, he just stopped messaging me and being in contact. And after 10 days of not hearing from him, I decided to reach out and say, hey, what's up? You know, what's going on? Is everything okay?" And that's when he said, Sammy, you're a really nice girl, but I don't think I can give you what you want. And I think you really need to stop living your life for others. And that was a really harsh thing to hear because in my head, I was this smart, good looking, strong woman, master's degree. You know, how dare a man tell me something like that? But I think it was also my wake up call. It was my wake up call that I had to stop living my life for others just the way he had said it. So it was it was that moment when I really decided that things had to change for me. And that's when I that's when I got into this journey that I am today, where I learned about my inner worth, where I learned that I deserve to have a voice, where I learned that it was okay to be me, even if that meant offending some people, even if that meant I would be judged and criticized. And I think that was the transformative moment of my life where everything started to shift, everything. So I found my voice, I I found my inner sense of worth. I, of course, learned about the attraction dynamics, masculine, feminine energy, which is what my work is all about today. And I help women understand attraction. But I think at the end of the day, everything comes down to your relationship with yourself. And I think self-confidence is is the key in that relationship, because unless and until you, you can show up in the world as who you truly are, you can't attract the right vibrational match for you. It's like your soul has a signature that is unique to it. And you have to show up in the world and vibrationally do that signature every single day so that the people who are right for you or your soulmate, they can actually find you. So I think self-confidence is that unique signature that your soul has that you need to show up every every morning with and sign with so that the people who are right for you, the people who are a right vibrational match for you are able to see you and able to enter your life. Thanks for sharing that. I love how you mentioned having that unique signature, right? A lot of people don't realize that we all have different talents, different skills, and we're unique in our own way. And the more we can show up, show up as our authentic self, the more we can attract the right things into our life, like you mentioned. And, you know, because of that, what's your life been like now? I mean, it's it's amazing. And as I said, it, it's not a destination. It's a journey. So I think there is no perfect place one can reach and say, now I'm confident and it's done. So I think my journey has brought me amazing results. I'm happily married to my soulmate, my wonderful husband, Christopher, and I am living my dream dream love life. He treats me like a queen and I'm a mother. So in my private life, all my dreams have come true. And I can definitely say that it has a lot to do with my journey of finding my voice and my self-confidence. And on the professional front as well, I switched my career. I am a trained economist and master's in public policy, and I decided to become a love coach simply because I found the self-confidence to say, you know what, like even though I'm trained and have a university degree in something completely different, I actually believe I was born on this planet to do this 
this is my gift. I, I am meant to help other women who are struggling in their love lives, help them have the love they want and desire. And this is what I was born born for on this planet. So I had the confidence to do this. And of course, my company has seen phenomenal success in the last 2.5 years. We have amazing client results, and I'm almost reaching seven figures. So I think the journey of finding my voice and the journey of finding myself and my self-confidence and my unique signature has literally turned my life around and made all my dreams come true. And it's a journey that was hard to go on at first because it requires you to look deeper within yourself and stop finding answers on the outside, but it's so worth it. Thanks for sharing that. And you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? There is always going to be fear. There is always going to be discomfort when you show up as who you are. There's going to be the fear of judgment. There's going to be fear of lack of approval. There's going to be fear of rejection. There's going to be fear of will they or will they not like me. Feel the fear and do it anyway. That is the only way to succeed and to attract the perfect match to you in your life, whether that is your career or your soulmate or the right friendships. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Be you anyway. Thanks for sharing that great tip. And I also agree, you know, when you face your fears, it's just the magic really does happen. Like we all go through fears. It's just learning to face them and, you know, just do it anyway, right? It's going to be uncomfortable, but it's going to be so worth it in the end. So thanks for sharing that. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out your work, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Absolutely. You can find me on my website, which is sammywunder.com. Just make sure the name is spelled right. S-A-M-I-W-U-N-D-E-R. So it's wonder, the German word for wonder. <laughs> and you're also welcome to find me on Facebook as Sammy Wunder. And I have a very thriving community of women, almost 10,000 diva members on my private Facebook group. And that's where you get to see a lot of my live streams and a lot of tips and a lot of techniques on getting into your feminine energy, which is absolutely magnetic and mesmerizing to men. So you're welcome to join that as well. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Sammy, you can also head on over to the selfconfidence.com and search for Sammy's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Sammy for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Sammy. Thank you for having me, Sheena. Lovely connecting with you as well. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Please subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to get your daily boost of confidence.